Hello, Minecrafters. This is the one called Gamer here with a, a momentous eh, occasion. I had a little revelation last n or tonight while I was trying to go to sleep that I could reclaim my old corrupted world by editing some blocks inside of it with MC Edit and then saving it as a whole new world. And it worked! So let's get to that. So this will be the first thing I'm showcasing. It's my sauna. It's my favorite thing in this world and it's really very awesome. All it is is some netherrack down there that's on fire and then glass above that with water on top. Really easy to build, really easy to set up. And I can just come in here, maybe I'll put some doors on there and seal up the doors and I can just think. And I can contemplate new inventions and that kind of thing. And then I've got this little area here which I'll just, yeah, I'm on my bridge. And right there is my dock. It was the first building I built in this world. And all that uh, fencing work was done before fences were really easy to put up. This is actually uh, like a one pre pre 1.6 world, I think, or it's a 1.6 world. And then this is my first tower. It's my uh, lighthouse tower, so I can find my way back. I don't actually want to go to the top, because there's nothing interesting up there. But it's made out of netherrack, and it slowly gets bigger as you go down. Um, my house doesn't really look good on the outside. I think if I put wood there and there, and just continued all those up, it would look a lot better. Along with maybe putting making a cobblestone roof like some of my other buildings. Um, I might as well finish exploring this because I only want to come by here once. Up here is my bed. Out here I can look outside and see those my vertical farm which I'll talk more about in a minute. I really want some automatic doors but they didn't really fit in that area and I wasn't good at making them at the time. This was my beatbox, but since I've edited my world, it hasn't worked. I don't understand why. Even when I go and reset the clock, for some reason, it just doesn't work. Whoa. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it worked this time. So down here is my farm, or is my uh, mine, and over here uh, is some other stuff, um, not really interesting. I had some inlaid lights that were actually fire, but they started to light my house on fire even though they're underground, and this actually did a lot more interesting things than, things than just make that one noise, but now it doesn't. That was actually a digital diamond creation. It's not working anymore for some reason. And I'll go down by the various levels. The very bottom here, I have my... I just harvested this, but it's my mushroom farm. That's why there's nothing in it. That's weird. Usually pick up a brown mushroom is the first one. But, um, yeah. And then above this, I have my cacti farm. I usually get about five every time I come down. Just got three there. Um, stop making me look like an idiot cactus. And then over here, I can just walk through, grab three of this, replant that down, move on, go cook it into some bread, or uh, weave it into bread, I guess, is how it works in Minecraft. I got a second layer of that, and I got uh, some of this crap I don't actually ever need. Um, and I have two tree farms up here, two of them, um, and another world, I, or in a different place, I would probably make uh, two, or I'd probably make my both my wheat farms on top, and I'd probably build them a little differently. For those of you who watch my other videos, you've seen my new wheat farm designs, but um, yeah, oh, I didn't stop by the dock. You can see it all from here, but it's cool to see from the inside. 
You can probably... Oh, never mind. But... So this is uh, my hanging lights. I thought they looked like super awesome. That's just my opinion. And I got soul sand here to stop the boat. I'm pretty sure because it usually wrecks the boats on these corners that it can't actually hit that corner through the soul sand because the soul sand has a smaller hitbox so that corner still kind of juts out. Um, so yeah, I think that this could be a little bit more effective but it gets the job done and the idea was that I it just holds the boat because oftentimes when you're getting out of the boat it'll like to like it gets pushed by you so that stops that problem and then this is the final building it's my storehouse it's very large as you can see and I my beatbox is putting off one little sound every now and again and I can still hear it from over here slightly and uh, go in here and there's not a lot of storage but oh I want to yeah I'm gonna go but you see as you can see you can just walk over this bridge and over those doors and over to here and just go out and explore and uh, hey look there's some smooth stone but I like these lights a lot, and I like the way this glass is. I think it looks really awesome. But down here is the most uh, efficient storage of chests that you can do. And you'd have one right here so I could access it from both floors. One in the middle and one on the bottom all the way around. And each, uh, each section would have it, what its own thing that it stored so like say all three of these would be saplings and they'd all be their own different kind and I could go up there and store two more uh, double chests worth and the idea was that it would be storage that grew with me got lots of nice rare stuff right here not a ton but I had enough because I was actually I really just started mining I was a farmer to begin with I didn't mine at all so, really it was enough. And we'll just come full circle, and we'll look at, get out of your sheep, nobody likes sheep. This was my ultra inefficient uh, cobble farm. If you've looked at my multiplayer SMPs, then you'll know that I've built newer, more efficient ones. I actually saw one by another dude, I don't remember his name, and it was really awesome. And the way it, it worked was it just, it was three pistons, and there would be a line of three cobble and it would just push it out and he dug it all out and there was like a ton of cobble and it was really efficient, didn't waste any of it, but he was using a modded mods on a modded server and a lot of his automatic farming was done by uh, Minecart Mania or something like that. Uh, I have never actually used that so I wouldn't know. But then there's my son. I don't know if I went up in here. So this is what I'll do. I'll end the episode up here. But it's made out of all entirely wood, sandstone, and sand. And the wood is just for some flavor. It doesn't actually give the thing any support. Sorry for that random spasm. And, uh, yep. So you just go up to the top here. And... survey the landscape. I really love this area. I think it's just beautiful. And I think that my little base right here is very, very smexy. Um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. This has been a wonderful moment in Minecraft for me, and thank you YouTube for sharing it with me. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, look at my other videos, I have a lot of cool inventions, and I invented with, uh, another guy, I can't, I, Ira Cindy was his name, and I hope to invent with some more people, but I don't really have a server right now, I'm gonna have some servers up later, look it up, look up our website, me and my friends, I'm Rigor Mortis on that website, and uh, it's called Arcane Blitz. It's a multi-game community. Right now it's just a forum. We don't have any games that we're a community in. We have a couple clans up in games. And um, we're going to have...
have a couple, we're gonna have a Minecraft server up as soon as we get some better internet connections going. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a creative server for redstone and all the beautiful works of art people create out of out of uh, wool, different colored wools like pixel art and stuff. So all on one server, and then we're gonna have I think an anarchy server. And I think the third server we're going to have is going to involve some kind of progression. We're still discussing that. But um, thank you for watching. I'll sign off by watching the sunset between my two bridges here. Comment, rate, subscribe. And good night, Minecraft. I can't do that like Simon. He's he's too amazing.